Hey everyone, Amelia Roberts here, and today we are going to be talking about integrating Microsoft Forms with Power BI. Microsoft Forms is a powerful tool used to make surveys, quizzes, and different types of forms in which you are going to use to collect data. Now, after you collect that data, you are obviously going to want to analyze that data and what better tool to use than Power BI. It would be great if you could integrate one into the other to streamline the entire process. And I am going to show you today how exactly to do that. Let's check it out. Before we begin, are you planning on taking a certification exam? You need to check out Cert XP. It is my absolute favorite way to learn and test my technical skills for my certification exams. You just need to visit prag.works slash Amelia40 and you'll save 40% on your on-demand learning subscription and get access to over a hundred different courses. Let's head over to our video. Power BI is an incredible tool that we are going to be able to integrate with our Microsoft Forms. And the best part about it is as our participants are completing these Microsoft quizzes and forms, we can get real-time analytics in our Power BI reports. We just need a live pathway in order to make that happen. And here is how we are going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and head up to the responses of my Microsoft quiz here. And then I'm going to head to this Excel spreadsheet right here. Now it is going to launch my Excel information in the online web browser, which is not exactly what I want. So I'm going to head up to the editing and I'm going to go to open in desktop app. I'm going to say yes, I do want to open it up in Excel and then the desktop version is going to pop up on my screen. So now that I'm in my Excel spreadsheet, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to File, and I'm gonna to go to Info. Under Info, I have this Copy Path option right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that path, and then I'm gonna show you actually the file location where this Excel um, spreadsheet is actually stored. So where your form's answers are stored is actually right here in either OneDrive or even in SharePoint, depending on what it chooses. Mine is typically in my OneDrive, but um, it is also in SharePoint as well. So if you use either of those, that is where your data is constantly stored. That is actually the link that is being used. So I'm gonna copy that pathway, and then I'm gonna open up a brand new Power BI report. When I open up that Power BI report, I'm going to make sure that I am signed in up in the top right hand corner, or you can see, I can see my name and my picture right here. That means I'm signed in and good to go. And I'm going to go to get data. Under get data, I'm going to go to web because what I actually have is a URL and I'm going to paste my pathway in this web. I'm then going to delete everything after the X. So everything after the X, I am going to get rid of that very last X. There are a few, make sure you do not erase the extra a little bit. It's gonna need that. Anything after the X, go ahead and delete, and then we are going to hit okay. Now we are going to need to log in with our organizational credentials in order to access this, because as I said, it is stored in our OneDrive and SharePoint accounts. We did make this Microsoft form through our Microsoft account, so you do need to log in. I'm gonna to go to organize, organizational account and I'm going to sign in from here. And then it's gonna say you're currently signed in and then I'm going to hit connect and then it is going to launch my information into this little preview. It's giving me, it looks like I have two tables to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and look at each one and see which one is the one I want. Um, it looks like sheet one has all of the columns that I need and office forms table also looks like it has all of the columns I need. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the office forms table from here. And this is where you can either choose load or transform data. You're gonna to wanna to transform this data in um, the Power Query Editor because this is not the cleanest data that you can possibly have. It's not going to make a great report with what you have here. So I would go ahead and hit Transform Data. That's going to launch you into the Power Query Editor in order to clean up this information. So from here, I would probably get rid of some different columns that you have because a lot of this we don't need. 
Um, and I would probably just keep things that are like my key main columns that I would want to use for my data. So this is how you would upload your survey or your quizzes, how you would get that data into Power BI. I'm gonna now show you my a report that I have created using a Microsoft form very similar to what we have here. And this is the report that I have created previously. Now we can see that I have a card here with the total amount of surveys that are created. I have made a few different visualizations using the various questions that I have. On the side here, I can go ahead and launch my transform data. I'm going to launch my Power Query Editor show you some of my raw data that I have um, actually cleaned up since I brought it over from Microsoft Forms. But what I did was, you can see that I made a, the silly mistake here of not putting simple words or statements as my question. And this is what it would look like if you don't do that. So this is why it's so important to make sure that you do Keep that in mind when you are making your initial quiz and your initial form. Um, but this is my cleaned up data and this is what it has brought me here in my Power BI report. Now, if I were to go in and actually take this survey, if I were to go in and take this survey, it would take a couple minutes possibly for it to like go through the motions, but I could hit refresh and then it would refresh my data and give me all of the up-to-date information that, oh look, as you can see actually, somebody has recently taken my survey and it has updated to 11 total surveys and some of my report has changed. So this is awesome. Um, I love that we were able to see this during this example because now you can see that this updates as people are completing these surveys, as long as you hit refresh. Now, this is in the Power BI desktop. I can publish this out. So yes, I wanna, I wanna save my changes and I can publish this to the Power BI service. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this to this workspace here. Um, because this is my, as I call it, my test workspace. You can use the my workspace if you so choose, but I just want to show you how you can apply a data refresh once you launch it into the Power BI service. So I am launching this into the Power BI service. I'm going to go to my Dia class in my workspace and I am going to find, look, there is my pizza report and the data set is right there. My semantic model is right there as well. This is where I can apply my data refreshes so that my report is staying up to date at all times. I can go down here to refresh and I can incorporate refreshes here as well. So this is an awesome option for analyzing your data and really being able to dive deep into the answers that churn out of your Microsoft forms. I hope that demonstration was helpful. If you have any more questions regarding Microsoft forms or Power BI, make sure you check out our on-demand learning platform and make sure you use your code Amelia40 to save some money. I'll see you in the next video.